Hi, I'm Cody Hicks. I mean, Maddie Marshall. In for Hicks Tips. Won't you follow me in? If you're watching this video, you're at an event right now, and you need to learn on how to clean your jockey box so that there's no beer left in the jockey box lines. I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're at your event. You have your couplers hooked up to your kegs that you have been using. You want to make sure that there isn't any beer left over in the beer lines. Before you leave the brewery, you're going to want to make sure you bring a cleaning pot with you and fill it full of water before you go so that you don't have to look for a tap at the event. Once you're done and you're ready to clean your jockey box, you're just going to disconnect your couplers from the kegs and hook it up to this here cleaning pot, which is the exact same style of hookup as the keg. You're still hooked up to your CO2. You're going to need that gas, the same gas that you've been hooked up to this whole time. Leave it hooked up, leave it switched on. Now you're going to open up your lines and bleed whatever beer that's left in the lines to the ground. The water is going to push that out. As soon as you start to see clean water coming through, that's it. You're done. Close it off. Shut off your gas. Turn it off at the source. Disconnect your couplers and tidy up. Remove the regulator from the tank. Depressurize your pot. And you're ready to start packing up your truck. When you get back to the brewery, the jockey box is clean enough to go back on the shelf that you picked it up from. If you don't do that, you're going to have to answer to my face. This face. You see me? You see me? I'm coming for you. Thanks for your time.